we are going on a trip. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm gonna post this video. We'll see. Anyways, hi. I am on my way to get my brows threaded right now. I have a place that I always go to in Austin, Texas whenever I get my brows threaded, but I haven't found a place here in Boise. However, the highest recommended place is inside the Boise Mall. This will be a first. It's called Brow For You. It's been a minute and these girls need to be shaped and fixed. I'm about to grab brunch with some of my girlfriends and so I'm gonna bring these leftover cupcakes because I'm leaving tomorrow and they need to be eaten. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, it's weird. In Italy, they don't do breakfast food. They do. It's so bad. I mean, they're working. Like, not, it's not I don't know if I can decide. Which one? Actually, I would really like to try the pretzel one. I'm just like intrigued. Hi, I feel like I never film on the third floor, but hi, welcome to the scary Harry Potter closet. So yesterday I impulsively decided to book a trip to go visit a friend last minute. Yeah, I'm super excited. Destination, Colorado. And this will be the first time that I'm using my new away suitcase. Shout out to my parents. Beyond excited. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go bring this upstairs and start packing for this thing. When it comes to packing, your best friend is gonna be packing cubes. This tanner color is a pack from Amazon. I think for Christmas one year or my birthday, my sister got me these pink packing cubes from Away. The quality on this one is so much better, but I will link both of those down below if you want either option. Yeah, packing cubes are great. They help keep your clothes organized and you can really fit a lot in them. That way you maximize all the space in your suitcase. Itinerary, here we go. Tomorrow is Friday. So I leave Friday, my flight is at noon. I get to Colorado at like 5.30ish. There Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and then I leave Monday very early in the morning because I have a class on Tuesday. I wanna make sure that I'm back for that. The schedule just kinda works out great. Off the top of my head, I know I'm gonna need to bring an outfit for church on Sunday, an outfit for a fancy dinner, probably just a lot of warm clothes because I looked at the forecast this weekend and it's supposed to snow. We can't be freezing our butt off. I think I'm also gonna bring my Marc Jacobs tote bag as well. This is one of my favorite little bags to put on top of my suitcase and just bring as a carry-on. It's so, so spacious and it's definitely special because my best friend KK got this for me. So I think what we're gonna do is we are going to head into my closet. Oh gosh, this is always the hardest part, you guys. I don't know if I should be bringing y'all in here. This is a wake up call that I need to tidy up my closet wow um okay we're gonna start off with the essentials so socks underwear bras let's get it i'm gonna bring two pairs of these white no-show socks and then i think i'm gonna bring like a pair of high socks just in case i wear boots or something this weekend another thing i was told to bring this week is a swimsuit i'm pretty sure that there is a jacuzzi at the house that i'm staying at and i actually got this really cute swimsuit from target yesterday it's under their line sand and short and it's this one piece swimsuit really really classy and it can be strapless or you can add the strap so i'm thinking of maybe bringing this as an option and then i'll also bring like a two-piece as another option i just went through so many of my swimsuits for my two-piece i just have this triangle top from h and i I'm deciding between wearing these white swimsuit bottoms from Dippin' Daisies or another H&M bikini piece. And this one is just like seafoam green. We'll bring both because why not? In this little pocket is where I'm gonna put all of my undergarments. All set for that and then on this side is where we're gonna stick all of the clothes that we're bringing let's move this out of the way and start packing in our packing cubes I just remembered that I signed up for a bar class that starts in 30 minutes. So we're gonna put a pause on the clothing. I've got on this workout set from Set Active. It feels like a literal cloud and it looks like a cloud because it's gray, but super comfy. I would highly, highly recommend their work outfits. When it comes to toiletries, I have my go-to bag. She's kind of been through the ringer because clearly she's all dirty. I'm using this thing until it's destroyed destroyed in my glossier bag i'm gonna put all of my makeup and then for everything else i'm gonna stick it inside this little toiletry bag 
what in the world just fell and this is really nice because it has like a hanger hook so i can just hang it on like a door or a shower knob let's start with makeup my makeup brushes are already ready to go because it comes in this little travel pack tie the little string under and boom ready to travel okay <laughs> I just got home from the gym, so I look really gross right now. I threw my hair up in a bun because that's just that's just what we're working with today. I wanted to show everything that I'm bringing this weekend, and then I'll pack it as I show it. We're gonna aim to squeeze this all in two packing cubes. I have faith, but I've got some other ones if we need more. I'm bringing these free people parachute pants. Every single time I wear these, I get questions on where they're from. They're also really good for wind resistance. I could eat like five meals in this and be okay. It's so compact, it folds up so well. Next up, we're gonna bring one pair of sweatpants. These are from Brandy Melville, and it just says New York. I love these ones so much because they actually fit my height. It's so hard to find Find sweatpants that fit short people. So if you have that problem, comment down below. Then I'm gonna be bringing a pair of jeans. And then last pair of pants are these really, really cute cargo ones. These are the low rise baggy cargo pants from Hollister. They're also just so flattering on any body type. Now for tops, I'm gonna be bringing this turtleneck sweater. I love a good turtleneck sweater, especially this one from Princess Polly. Kind of cropped, so it sits really nicely on any pair of jeans. Then I'm just gonna bring a flannel. Ooh, it's smells really good. I don't know what perfume I put on it, but it smells really good. Having any sort of flannel is just a nice staple if you're lounging around the house and you want to throw it over a tank top. I might even wear it to bed, honestly. I forgot to mention, but I'm going to be bringing a pair of Lululemon Aligns. In case we go on a hike of some sort or if we go to the gym, I want to be prepared. <laughs> Next up, I've got this slip dress. So this is not actually something that I would wear just by itself. I have an outfit vision in mind. First time that I ever wore this outfit was in Austin, Texas when I went on a little girls date with one of my friends Jonesy. We went to North Italia and I wore this and on top of it I wore this little blazer dress. So so flattering and cute. I love the little clasps that it has. I'll probably bring some white booties or some form of boots. Next up I've got a little romper. Haven't worn this yet. This is a backup outfit in case we go to brunch or an activity indoors. The reality of me actually wearing this is very slim. I overpack and you're definitely going to notice that from this video always been like that probably will never change that but we're working on it i had to pack for four months swimming on the ocean so sue me oh wait i forgot i have another pair of pants gosh this is humbling why am i bringing this many clothes these are tan linen pants i think this would look really good with that white turtleneck for example we're giving ourselves options we're being versatile to go with the lululemon leggings in case we do a workout of some sort we've got a lululemon long sleeve top this is my favorite style of top also the shade of blue mixed with the camouflage print was a good move on Lululemon's part. I'm gonna wear this on the plane because it's pretty big and it's gonna take up a lot of space in my suitcase but this is the Aritzia Cozy Fleece Mega Fit Hoodie. I absolutely love this hoodie with my whole entire heart. It is so cozy and there's nothing that I hate more than when your hoodies or sweatshirts just like suffocate you all right here and this hoodie you can just tell it's huge so you never feel confined up here. So I will be wearing that tomorrow. To lounge in the house, obviously I had to bring some looser long sleeve tops that would keep me warm, but are also just really, really cozy to lounge around in. So this top I got from Vietnam, it's a long sleeve one. I really like the way that it sits on my neckline. I got this from a really cute boutique in Vietnam. I would do anything to go back to Ho Chi Minh City. Being in the motherland was great. Oh, this is the bodysuit that I was talking about earlier. Zara has the best bodysuits and I always find myself reaching for this one because it's just such a staple. So it's just black. A very easy way to elevate any outfit is to get a black bodysuit. For Sunday church, I'm going to be wearing this white dress from Hollister. I love the sleeves on this. I have like five different colors of this particular style. That's how much I love this dress. It's very long, very church appropriate, and it has pockets, which is nice. Having this all laid out, I totally am overpacking, but it's fine because the piles don't actually look that big. Um, okay, so next top is this white Babaton long sleeve from Aritzia. I love this material so so much. It's so so soft but it's also stretchy. Last top, same font. Haven't worn this one yet but this is from Aritzia as well. This is a really delicate material but it's gorgeous and it's a turtleneck top like this. I hope that I can wear it this weekend. Boom! 
that is all the clothes that I'm bringing. Now that I have folded it all, this is what it looks like. I have faith that I can pack this all into those packing cubes. <laughs> Does anybody else still wear their Christmas PJs? Not even December. Like we have moved on to February and I will keep wearing these things. Woo! Alrighty, look at this. Now this is what I'm talking about. All right, so there's two stragglers, which honestly, I might just fit into the crevices of my suitcase. But this is pretty good, you guys. I'm proud of myself for fitting that in there. We're gonna put those packing cubes on this side, and look at that. Fits perfectly. Press and zip, baby, press and zip. Heck yeah. This whole side is done. On this side, this is where we're gonna put toiletries, makeup, and probably shoes. Ooh, maybe even gloves. I feel like I should bring gloves because it's gonna be chilly. I will see you guys tomorrow because I do have time in the morning to use all of my toiletries and then pack it because if I pack it right now, I'm just gonna have to take it out anyways. My friend Kaylee is taking me to the airport at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll probably set my alarm for like 6.45, finish some engineering for society homework, and then I am done with school. And then we'll just finish packing before I leave. Good night, sleep tight, see you in the a.m. Good morning, I just hopped out of the shower and we're gonna start packing my little carry-on bag. I just took this pouch out of my matching purse, but I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything in here. These are like in-flight essentials, but also what I keep with me every day whenever I carry my purse. So we've got the Summer Friday Sweet Mint Lip Balm. This stuff is like butter. Trident Gum Spearmint Flavor. We've got a Glossier Little Mirror. I love this thing because it's perfect for portable on the go. Some spray hand sanitizer. Rare Beauty Lotion. Love this scent so, so much. Obviously some aqua and then some cuticle oil. We're just gonna stick that in here. I'm also gonna bring this water bottle. I was thinking of bringing my Stanley. As much as I love Stanley's, I hate how exposed the straws are. So I'm just going to bring this grounds water bottle. I have to do school this weekend. Like that is a priority. So I'm gonna be bringing my Microsoft Surface Pro 9 as well as my MacBook Pro. I use my Surface Pro 9 to do all of my engineering for society and accounting homework and biz stat actually, because we do a lot of Excel work and Apple just doesn't really work that well in the sense of Excel, but it's perfect for editing. And I do need to edit this weekend as well. So it's gonna be a very, very fun, but busy, busy weekend. Planner from Erin Condren, as well as my notebook for school. Also bring my pencil bag, Sao de Janeiro perfume, and I'm trying to think what else do I need? Oh, chargers, that's a huge one. I cannot forget laptop charger as well. Okay, what else? I don't need my keys because I'm not driving anywhere but I do need my house key. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but look at how cute this little cloud key holder is from Amazon. It's magnetic, and so you literally just like stick it up there. So cute. We've got the what the buck keys. <laughs> I got this when I was camping in Stanley, Idaho with one of my girlfriends. And we just hopped by a farmer's market and I was like, mm, yeah, we're getting that. Wire headphones are a necessity. And then last but not least, my wallet. I was thinking about bringing a book to read and I feel like that would be a good idea, but I really need to get a lot of work done this weekend. Not bringing the book will motivate me to actually get it done in the airport and be productive with my time. I'm gonna make a breakfast really quick. I'm actually starving right now right now and then we're gonna finish packing and then we can close the suitcase for good. I decided to ditch the bigger fold out toiletry bag and instead I'm just gonna bring this smaller one and I really love the way it's divided because I have space to put my contacts, gua sha, my floss for my permanent retainers, shaving razors, deodorant hairspray retainers, all the above. And then the last thing that is just gonna fit right in here easily is my toothbrush. If you haven't made the switch yet to using an electrical toothbrush, I would highly recommend it. It cleans your teeth so much better than the regular ones. And I love that it comes in this portable case. I need a moisturizer, that's what I'm forgetting. Superfood Air Whip Moisturizer. We'll throw in a hair clippers for fun. And just like that, we are all zipped up and good to go. I'm gonna do some makeup right now. That way I can pack it all and not have to touch it whenever I'm at the airport. All my essentials are already in here, so this is perfect.
It's 9.09. .09. Kaylee is picking me up in 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna curl my hair really quickly. I have found the perfect hair curling routine lately that has just worked for me. I truly owe it to this Bioionic product. It is just that good. And if I could recommend any heat styling spray that has heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, it would be the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Heat Styling Spray. This is hands down best one that I've ever used. But on that note, I'm going to end the video here because we are all done packing. So if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, don't do anything. I'm sure I will be posting once I'm in Colorado on my Instagram. So if you're not already, go ahead and follow me there. I also am pretty consistent on my TikTok. I've been trying to be really active on it since I came back from studying abroad. By the time you guys are seeing this, my new series on my channel, Cooking with Caro, should be up. So I will link the first video to that one down below. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you next time. Mwah, ciao. I can close my eyes and breathe A song in good conversations Tastes just like medication To all of the popular